All right, my friends, now that you've learned how to use the clone stamp to make small adjustments, I'm going to show you how to make edits to a photograph that look pretty realistic in conjunction with the clone stamp to kind of take out objects you don't want, but they're covering up important stuff. This is a picture I took of Whited with her lovely little boy right at the beginning of summer. Uh, we were blowing bubbles and catching them, and we want to make it a little more magical. We want to get rid of the puppy gate. We want to get rid of the pool skimmer. Maybe some more bubbles. Maybe the neighbor's house. We want the focus to be on Whited and Quinn. So what I'm going to do, I could go in and try to clone all of this stuff, but that's going to be a long, hasty process. You will still need the clone stamp in order to complete this, but that's going to be more for touch-ups. Before I do anything else, I'm going to select what I want to remove. And you want to focus kind of on one area at a time. I want to get rid of this gate. And what we're going to be using is something called content aware fill. And what that does is it tells your computer, hey, I want you to analyze the surrounding pixels of this image and use your supercomputer intelligence to fill in the gaps where you think they should be filled in. It's not perfect, but it's a really good start towards what you're after. So I want to make sure I don't chop Quinn's foot off. And I want to make sure I'm really replacing all of the gate. So that's a pretty good selection. I'll worry about that later. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go up to File, Edit, Not Fill, Content Aware Fill. There is an option for Content Aware within the regular fill. Don't use that. It doesn't have as many options. You're going to go all the way down here, Content Aware Fill, and an interface much like the Liquify Shindig is going to pop up for you, or it should if you click on it the whole way. There we go. And you'll notice things are in green. Things that are in green are things the computer is sampling. My control here is a minus right now. I could add, I could minus. Ah. So it's very easy to go back and forth if you get rid of something you don't. I'm going to immediately make my brush smaller. I'm going to hold Option and minus, minus that out. And your cursor will tell you what you're doing. Now, I don't want to sample Whited's dress. The preview is over here. Whited's dress is not something I want to repeat. Neither is Quinn's body. So I'm going to edge those out. And you'll see as I make edits to this green screen sort of deal, it will make edits to your preview. Pretty spiffy if you ask me. And I'm just going to go around. I'm going to keep my eye on that preview and watch to see where is it sampling from? How is the image changing? What do I need to get rid of to make it more convincing? And slowly but surely, this fence is starting to look more like it belongs there. Are there still going to be things I need to go in with the clone stamp and remove? Absolutely. Or touch up? Sure. But this gives us a really good start so you don't have to do all of those things. Thought I was changing the size. Apparently, I was just tapping my keyboard for fun. There we go. We don't want to repeat the foot. And notice that made a huge difference over there. I'm going to scroll over. I don't know that I want to repeat the very edge here. That can get a little dicey. And you just kind of have to play around with it to see or you want it to start and stop. It's copying something here that I really don't want it to copy. That's starting to look a little more organic. There we go. Maybe if we just, yep, yep. We, this is all fine. We don't want that to be moving around. And now I'm starting to run into that gate, so I need to be careful. Let me see. You can also zoom in on your preview over here. I can't figure out where that's copying from. Okay. Back it back out. And like I said, we'll go back in with our clone stamp tool and do a couple touch-ups. I don't need this repeated. So that makes changes over there. And I think it's repeating some of this stuff, so I'm going to just come down here. Still not sure why that's going all the way up to his foot. 
see. There we go. And like I said, just kind of keep your eye on where that shindig is coming from, where it's sampling from. That's pretty close to what I want. So I'm going to go ahead and don't worry, we'll get we'll make this edge nice and even. I'm going to go ahead and hit apply. I'm going to hit OK. And here's where I have to come in and do some cleanup. We'll save that for the next video.